Hi, this is Kirk. Today I'm going to talk about the newest release of NetScan Tools Pro version 11. One of the newest features we've added into version 11.02 is to be able to reopen the same database automatically without seeing this window. After you create a database and close the program and then reopen it, you'll see this window with the yes or no, use the same database or not. But now we've added this new checkbox right here. So if you check it and then hit yes to open, it will now open that database every time without viewing that window. So it'll go directly to the program. So I'll demonstrate that right here. I'll close the program. After checking the box, I'll reopen it. And now it goes straight to the program without going through the database windows. Now, if you want to go back and change the database, change to a different database, uncheck this box on Program Info Database Maintenance. Another new thing that we've added in the program for version 11.02 is some database statistics. Right here you can see how many records were in the database at startup, and you can refresh these statistics by pressing that button. You can see the oldest and the newest record. Now, if you want to clean up anything in the database, you can re erase all the tables and you can also do um, a vacuum which basically cleans up deleted records and there's an integrity check here as well so to repeat if you want to go back and switch to a different database you can either manually do it here or uncheck this box and now if you exit and then restart you now see that same results database question again so again, we have a new checkbox here that you should check out in version 11.02. Another important user interface feature that we added in version 11.2 was in the manual tools area over here. In previous versions, 11.01 and 11.0, as you press this button, you would only advance one icon per press. Now it advances a whole page of icons and if you hold the button down it advances all the way to the bottom or the top. So this was an important user interface feature suggested by our customers. Another user interface improvement we added in version 11 has to do with the favorites bar over here. As you can see you can have lists of particular tools that you like in the favorite tools bar. That way you don't have to use look at tools that you don't use frequently. So now when you click on add to favorites it immediately adds it to the favorites tools bar like I just did. And if you wish to remove something you click on add to favorites on the tool of interest and it just removes it immediately from the list. Now, As you can see these aren't in alphabetical order. They're in the order that you add them. And I'll add this one right here, and you can go back and see that it, they're out of alphabetical order. Now, if you restart the program, though, they will reappear in alphabetical order. And again, you can easily remove from the Favorites toolbar without restarting the program. The previous two releases of NetScan Tools Pro 11 required you to restart the program in order to access the favorites that you've just added. Again, you can now add manual tools to the Favorites toolbar directly in version 11.02. The final major user interface change that we did in version 11.02 is the correction of the problem we had with the help file. Supposedly, you're supposed to be able to press F1 to get help. Well, in the last two versions, that didn't work very well. So now it does work, as you can see. I'll switch to a tool and then press F1. It goes directly to the information about that tool. As you can see here. So, and another thing we added in the help file is a section on manual tool reports and exporting. And another thing that we did add that is of interest is now that the when you do a manual report, you can now export the actual information from the data that was collected from the tool to a text file and you can also filter on certain parameters so as you can see right there you can have an export 
not just to report in the web browser. So those are the major changes that we had in version 11.02 user interface wise and especially having the F1 key working again is quite a bonus. So to wrap up, version 11.02 had a number of new user interface changes, but it also had some fixes dealing with various things like the SMTP server tests, fixed a problem with the R who is initial server box in the settings for who is. Of course, I mentioned we pressed the pressing of the F1 key. The art ping right click menu wasn't appearing before, now it appears. And We've also fixed the parsing for minor versions in check, the automatic check for new version on startup. And of course we updated our database files and updated SQLite to 3.7.63. That pretty much wraps up the changes in NetScan Tools Pro version 11.02.